Hey guys, Gladys here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a uh, terminal displace, warp, blur, wave effect, whatever you really want to call it. Most people just call it like the wave effect. But right here, I have this right here, and uh, I just voice cracks, but these two colors really look nice together, I think. But yeah, if you don't know what a terminal displace is, it's like most people use it in Cinema 4D and After Effects intros. It's really hard to do in Blender. Well, people just didn't know about this little trick. Most people, when they do like the little wave in blur, watery effect, they just use the texture touchy. But I'm going to be telling you guys how to do it different so it looks more like actual terminal displaced in this video. So now what you want to do is hit Shift A on your keyboard and add anything. So just like, let's say, cube, go to the texture tab and then what you want to do, right click, cube, should be in cycles render, it's like the best one to be in, and uh, actually make a new scene, this is just how I'm going to do it, you don't have to do it this way if you don't, if it doesn't make you, add like a cube or something, go to here, like add a material, any material, it doesn't matter, Go to texture, hit new, click image or movie, and then click magic. Now the turbulence is basically what you're going to be using here. Um, that's what basically the turbulence displaces. You don't really need to keep this scene. You can actually go ahead and delete this scene and it'll still be there. Um, so now what you want to do is go into compositing, check off use nodes, backdrop, and auto render. That's at least what I like to check off. Now what you want to do, let me render this really quick. Um, click add, click color, alpha over, because you got to have the alpha over, you know. Um, turn that fact down. And now what you want to add is a displacement node. So add a displace. Now add a texture node. Now you have this right here. Now drag the value into the vector input right there. And then click here. And then click this texture right here, which is the magic texture. And now what you want to do, go to, um, if you render it actually, it looks normal. But if you turn the Y scale to about 30, or I mean the X scale to about 30, and this one to about 25, it actually surprisingly looks like turbulence displaced. Now you can play around with these settings, put them up and down as much as you want. And if you go into the texture tab, which I already deleted the textures, um, I already deleted the other scenes, so I can't really go and mess around with the textures anymore. But you can actually go into the texture and turn up down the turbulence and turn it up too and you can play around with that and basically just make it look better now all you have to do is just basically keyframe it so let me go into here just keyframe it really quick put it to zero put it there about at 60 oh, we'll say 20. uh we'll put it to like 30. 25 maybe a little too much for what you're doing but I usually just use that and then at about 30 we will turn it back down to zero there you go now I'm going to render this um, and I'm gonna put it on the screen at the end of the video which is right about now so I hope you all enjoyed this quick little tutorial leave a like down below comment rate subscribe share with your friends if you didn't enjoy now uh yeah bye